hello everyone in this video we will solve questions of 2.3 uh, which are about the derivatives and the rules of derivatives so one of the rules of derivative is that if you are given y is equal to f of x which is called power rule then dy by dx mean differentiating with respect to x is you can represent it by this one or denoted by this one and then if you have f of x in this form then the derivative is you take the power to the front multiply it to the um, function and then you subtract one from the power right if the same function is in this form the function is of this format then the derivative is you bring the power to the front you subtract one from the power and the inside function you take the derivative of this and multiply it to the functions so this is how you calculate the derivatives of different functions now if we are going to solve different problems they can they contains so this exercise contains is y is equal to 4x power 7 then if we differentiate with respect to x then that can be written as and one of the rules of derivatives is that the constant you t you if a constant is multiplied to the function you do not differentiate it but you take it out so here we will take out the 4 and differentiate x power 7 by power rule power comes to the front and you subtract 1 from the power so that is 28 x power 6 is dy by dx now uh, different questions we can take is y is equal to square root 2x plus 1 over square root again we differentiate with respect to x so you differentiate with respect to x now again the constant terms is out and you differentiate the x and then differentiate the other term so one of the rules of differentiation is that if you have f of x plus g of x and you want to find out the derivative of this one then you can take the derivative separately so this is what we did here we took the separate the derivative of this one and the derivative of this one separately so this gives you two the derivative of x is one and the derivative of a constant is zero if you have any constant c and if you take the derivative of that one it is zero so this gives us zero so the derivative is dy by dx is square root two Uh, similarly, you can take many examples. Uh, if you are given f of x is equal to x power minus 3 and 1 over x power 7, you can both you can write them both in this order. And now if you differentiate this thing, then d by dx of x minus 3, x minus 7, Again, you split them up. Now again, use the power rule. Power comes in front and you subtract one from the power plus again, power comes in front and you subtract one from the power. So that is minus three x power minus four and that is minus seven x power minus eight. And you can write this down as minus three over x power four and 7 over x power 8.
if you're given a function f of x is equals to the cubic root of 8 over x again you can simplify this function is 1 over 3 further you can simplify this function is 1 over 3 and x power 1 over 3 and again you can write the uh, this can be written as 2 power 3 over 3 and you can write this as minus 1 over 3 so this gives us 2 x power minus 1 over 3 if you want to simplify it's better if you do not want to simplify it even that's it's okay now if you want to take the derivative it's simplified form now so you can take the derivative 2 is out you multiply it to the derivative of x power minus 1 over 3 now you can see that 2 as it is the derivative the power comes in front and you subtract 1 from the power so that gives you minus 2 over 3 x power and that gives you minus 4 over 3 you can write this down by minus 3 x power 4 over 3 Okay, next questions, uh, type of questions are, you need to find out this. Once you are given a function, y is equal to x power 3 over 2 and x. Again, you have to differentiate, but before you differentiate, it's easy that you can simplify it. So you, x is between, is divided by, this term is divided by x and also 2 is divided by x. Again, you can further simplify it 3 over 2 minus 1 and 2 times x power minus 1. So you can write down y as x power 1 over 2 plus 2 x power minus 1. Now it's easy to differentiate. That would be 1 over, uh, so let me just write it down, d by dx. And I'm straight away splitting them up, splitting them up so that we save our time. Again, the power comes in front and you subtract 1 from the power. So half minus 1 gives you minus 1. And 2 power comes in front and you subtract 1 from the power. So that becomes minus 2. You can write this down by 1 over 2. And uh, if we take it to the denominator, that becomes positive. And that is minus 2 to the denominator is positive. Now you can subtract the value that is asked so 1 over 2 into square root of 1 because it's half is square root minus 2 over 1 square so you can see 1 over 2 minus 2 and that is minus 3 over 2 similarly you can calculate these type of problems if these are just all uh, differentiating questions now if the the function is changed and they're asking you to find out now the independent variable is t not x anymore so the function here is given by x is equals to t squared or 1 divided by 3t so if you want to differentiate this with respect to t now before you differentiate it you can simplify it again 3 square over 3t plus 1 over 3t you can further simplify it is 1 over 3t plus 1 over 3 minus 1 so you can take out the 1 over 3 you can take 1 over 3 common t plus t minus 1 now if you differentiate this with respect to t 1 over 3 in t minus 1 over t I'll take out 1 over 3 common, differentiate t and plus differentiate t power minus 1. 1 over 3, this is the derivative of t is 1 and minus 1 comes in front and power you subtract 1 from the power. So that gives you 1 over 3, 1 minus 1 over t square.
Now the in the other questions from 21 to 24 are asking you to find out this thing when x is given is 1. So it's almost the same thing. You have to find out the derivative first and then substitute x is equal to 1 in the final solution. So one of those ones is given by y is equal to x power 24 plus 2x power 12 plus 3x power 8 and plus 4x power 6. So if you differentiate this with respect to x, differentiate all, differentiate all of them with respect to x separately. So if you do that thing, this will be 24 and you subtract 1 from the power, so 23. 2 times you, the power comes in front and you subtract 1 from the power plus 3 into power comes in front, you subtract 1 from the power, 4 into sub power comes in front and you subtract 1 from the power. So you can write this down by 24x23, 24x11, 24x7 and 24x5 and you can take 24 common x11 x7 x5 now d by dx when x is 1 so when you put 1 in here so there's 24 1 cube 1 power 23 is 1 1 power 11 is 1 1 plus 7 is 1 1 power 5 is 1 so that gives us 24 into 4 which is 6 and that is 96